So, in many states in the country, property taxes on homes go up based on what values are, in theory, on properties in that year. There are some states, some of the biggest states actually, that have caps for owner-occupied residences, investment property, second home residence, their uh, property value is to be marked to market in theory every year, and then your property taxes adjust. Well, we've had since, if you go back to prior to COVID to today, obviously the housing affordability thing is an ugly problem in the United States for people trying to buy a home. And on paper, a huge advantage to people who owned homes prior to COVID that have seen these big run-ups in value. But now, for those who feel like, man, look what's happened. My home's gone up so much. The other shoe to drop is what you then have to pay in most states when your property is assessed and they say, oh, it's worth this much more and you have to pay that much more tax. Um, I just went through a process of appealing a property tax appraisal and I hired a, as I've done all through the years, I hired a professional firm to handle my appeal and I lost flat out. Uh, the first time ever that I didn't win some kind of reduction in the value of the property. So now I owe a back tax bill during the appeal period. And moving forward, I owe a lot more tax each year. The reasons for appeal are that other people are of similar properties are appraised at much lower than you or that they've just flat out outrun the market. Um, obviously, the board felt like the value is what I could really get for the property. I don't think so, but that's the story. And so we're going to face this in most states with the mark to market where you either can just pay it or if you know that, that for whatever reason they have over-assessed you, over-appraised your property, you want to appeal. If the money's big, you want to look at hiring the professional appeal services that you can pay one of two ways. You can either pay them an upfront fee and then a small percent of whatever money they save you, or in many jurisdictions, you can pay nothing up front, but you give a bigger split, even 50-50, of the money they save you by getting the value reduced. But if the amounts are small, then it's really your time that is at risk if you do an appeal. And the, the reasons if you handle your own appeal, never talk about how government wastes your money or... Uh, you know, you don't like the, the county commission people or anything like that. Everything has got to be about the dollars and cents. Be polite, be clear, and be concise when you appear before a panel. Uh, many times they will be fellow citizens that are volunteering to be on a panel, or they could be paid professionals. In every case, honey beats vinegar politeness, clarity, and actual facts are going to be the key. If you can show that neighbors of equivalent properties are being appraised much lower, or that the marketplace price in your development, in your area, is much lower, what people are getting for their homes, lower than what they have appraised you at, those are the grounds for appeal. And if you live in a jurisdiction where your values are capped, how much they can go up each year, great for you. A lot of us aren't that lucky. I lost my appeal too. 
So we're zero for two yeah, standing here. We hired a guy and he he was recommended on next door. But he, like, we finally wrote again, like, what's going on? And he wrote back and he's like, well, he sent us a form letter. And it said, great news, you're frozen for three years, blah, blah, blah. But, like, <laughs> and you're saving by being frozen for three years. And we're like, so nothing. You got nothing, basically. Nothing. Yeah.